Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you something absolutely mind-blowing, how to play Cyberpunk 2077, one of the most high-end games of this generation, right on your Android device. That's right, we're bringing a true next-gen experience straight to your phone. Many of my subscribers have already completed this game from start to finish using the emulator, and their feedback has been nothing short of amazing. They said it feels unbelievably immersive, like carrying a full-blown PC world right in your hands. Now, this game is massive, around 100 gigabytes in size, so let's quickly talk about the device requirements before we jump in. To run Cyberpunk 2077 on Android, you'll need at least a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which is the bare minimum. 16 gigabytes of RAM is recommended, though it can still run decently with 12. On Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, you can expect around 15 to 30 frames per second, but if you're using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the performance jumps dramatically to a stable 30 to 60 FPS. And here's the best part, the game even runs on Snapdragon 8 Elite now, which makes the experience even smoother. Plus, it comes with frame generation support, pushing the frame rate to an entirely new level of smoothness. So get ready, because today, you're about to witness one of the most powerful open world experiences ever made running on your Android device. Let's dive in and see how it performs. So guys, first of all, you need an emulator that can handle this game flawlessly, the same one that players use to complete Cyberpunk 2077 without a single issue or overheating problem. That's right, no lag, no throttling, just pure performance. For that, you'll need to use Winlater CMOD 2.5.0 Ladashi Build Vanilla. This version is specially tuned for high-end AAA titles and helps manage thermal throttling without sacrificing any performance at all. Once you open Winlater, create a new container and name it Cyberpunk 2077. Screen resolution doesn't make a major difference here, so you can safely set it to 1280 by 720 for the best balance of visuals and performance. Now, head into the graphics driver section and make sure you're using Turnip version 25.1.0 which usually comes as the default. However, if you want to push things a bit further, the brand new Turnip 26 build is also ready and fully compatible, giving you slightly better efficiency and smoother rendering. This setup ensures your gameplay remains stable, fluid, and absolutely stunning, just like running a full-scale PC title on your Android. Now moving forward, inside the DXVK settings, you'll need to enable VKD 3D version 2.14.1. Just scroll down a bit and select feature level 12 underscore 2. For the DXVK base, use version 2.3.1, and don't change anything else below that. After this, head straight into the advanced options section. Here, choose box 64 version 0.3.7 and make sure box 64 present is set to performance mode. Leave the startup mode as essential, and finally, select all CPU cores before launching the game. Once the game starts, go into the in-game settings and turn on frame generation. Since you're playing on a mobile device, keep every graphics setting on low to ensure maximum stability. Congratulations, your game is now running smoothly. This configuration delivers full speed performance without frame drops or overheating. The best recommended device for this setup is Snapdragon HN3 as it handles Cyberpunk 2077 with incredible stability and smoothness. Now, let's see how the game actually performs. Just keep in mind, this is a screen recording, so the FPS you see may appear lower. Once the recording is turned off, the frame rate actually doubles. So don't rely on the on-screen numbers. The real gameplay is far smoother and completely playable. Always try to use the optimized version of Cyberpunk 2077, as it delivers the highest possible performance on Android with this setup. Now, let's jump into the gameplay and see the future of open world gaming running right inside your phone. And as you can see, the game is running unbelievably smooth. Every frame feels fluid, the lighting looks stunning, and there's no major lag or stutter anywhere. Even in high density areas with traffic and crowds, the performance holds steady without overheating or frame drops. The movement, combat, and city exploration all feel surprisingly responsive for a mobile setup. This is honestly a breakthrough moment, seeing Cyberpunk 2077, a full-blown next-gen PC title, running this well on Android is something I never thought I'd witness this soon. The visuals may be tuned down a bit, but the overall experience still captures the real Cyberpunk feel, the glowing neon, the futuristic skyline, the atmosphere, everything. So, if you've got a powerful device like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, you're in for a next-level experience. Just make sure you're using the optimized version, keep your settings low, and you'll be amazed at how playable and stable this game actually is. Now, sit back and watch the gameplay. This is Cyberpunk 2077, fully alive, fully playable, right here on Android.